Hey guys, before we get started with today's episode, I just want to say thanks again for listening to the Self Storage Show. And as a special thank you, I put together a really cool, unique challenge for those in the self storage industry. Rather than me having going on about it, just go to this domain and check it out. It's theselfstoragechallenge.com. So the big question is this. How are those in the self-storage industry like us going to be successful in today's market? That's the question, and this show will give you the answers. My name is Jim Ross, and welcome to the Self Storage Show. Hi everyone, this is Jim Ross from the Self Storage Show. Today in the Storage Spotlight Edition, we've got Laura Brooks from Boxwell. How's it going, Laura? Hello, great. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So what is your title, I guess, for over at Boxwell? Yeah, here at Boxwell, I am a strategic account manager. And there's actually two of us in those roles. So the other rep, uh, Lisa Maloney, she is out of North Carolina. And I'm here in our Boulder office. Perfect. I always like to get people's titles. Sometimes they're, they're yeah. like that, or sometimes they're way out there. So, <laughs> Right, yeah, no, know. pretty simple, straightforward. Very good, I like it. Um, so again, for some of those that aren't familiar with you know, these kind of spotlight editions, I like to you know, bring people on that you know, provide a service, of course, to the storage industry. And of course, you guys fit the mold there. So what, what is Boxwell? Yeah, great, thanks. Uh, yeah, so Boxwell is a company and that makes, manufacturers customizable portable storage containers. So we service both the self-storage industry as well as the portable storage industry and, you know, a few uh, different industries as well. But those that is uh, the main core, you know, of our business. And we have been around for going on uh, three years now. And the owner, Rod Bowles, has been in the industry for over 10 years. And he used to work for another company uh, doing a similar thing. And he just found an opportunity to kind of go out on his own and, uh, you know, really make a great product. And he's taken, you know, um, all the customer feedback he's had from over the years, over 10 years of that experience and the industry experience to bring to market what we believe to be the most innovative, you know, container available. So there are a lot of little things, you know, that kind of set us apart from what else is out there. Well, that's kind of why I want you on because, yeah, I look at up portables and all that. I'm like, all right, that's got a floor and a ceiling and four walls. Yeah, right. There you go. (laughs) It's a box. (laughs) Yeah, it's not not that complicated. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's always interesting, um, you know, educating, you know, new customers, people that are just kind of learning about, you know, portable containers and where they fit in with their business. So, you know, it's, it's kind of the little things that, you know, make the difference, you know, as far as containers go. So we've got what really sets us apart, our biggest selling feature is our corrugated roof. So that allows for better runoff from rain and snow. And, um, you know, it's also a lot stronger, a lot thicker, more durable. And then, you know, just a few other little things for the portable storage industry. We use uh, 3M vinyl decals on our containers as opposed to being screen printed. So that comes with a seven-year warranty. So, again, you just have better, you know, durability, longevity, you know, when uh, you use a decal as opposed to screen printing onto containers. And then we've got, yeah, so just, you know, a few little key differences. But, you know, these are big investments. So you want to make sure that you're getting something that's going to, you know, withstand time and and be there for you for the long haul. So our containers are actually manufactured by one of the world's largest ocean container manufacturers in the world. So we've leveraged, you know, kind of their steel buying power, their engineering expertise, um, you know, their manufacturing guidelines. So we've got, you know, similar strength and durability of an ocean container, but more the aesthetic quality of a white container or a portable container. Nice. So a lot of times, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, they're really great. It's, you know, you just, people get confused sometimes between the two, you know, ocean container versus our style, especially when they're just kind of researching all this, you know, and getting more information. Mm-hmm. No, I have the kind of best of both worlds, it sounds like, so... That's yeah, absolutely. 
because I, I, I recently had an owner, you know, that's what brought my, my attention. He was looking at some space and mm-hmm. it was like in his mindset, it was almost like, I hate to say the word disposable, but he's like, okay, I'll just stick a right. portable there. They'll, they'll get me through a few years. And I was like, no, yeah. no, you want something that's going to be <laughs> just because you have open space, you know, make it yeah. worth your buck, you know, it's not disposable, right. make, it, make it last. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And really, I mean, with proper care and maintenance, you can have these containers for 20 years, you know, if not longer, if you take care of them. Oh, nice. So, yeah, they they are a great investment, you know, for self-storage operators. It's just, it makes so much sense. If you have any unused space on your property, any idle land, you know, you're, you're, that's money you're losing if you are, don't have rental units on that space. So you can use containers in a lot of areas where you can't do a traditional build out on because they're considered portable. You know, technically you can move them Mm -hmm. if you needed to, even though most don't, but at least you have that option. So it saves a lot of, you know, time with permitting, you know, from, you know, the different municipalities. Also, you're not having to worry about extreme construction costs. Or the time. So the time and money involved with doing a traditional build out versus just, you know, ordering containers and then putting them down on your property. And, you know, our lead time is about 10 to 12 weeks. But once you get them, you know, in your hands, each container only takes about 25 minutes to build. So you've got, you know, brand new rental units in 12 weeks ready to go. Wow. Okay. I was going to ask about that, kind of the the process of of all that. So. 10 to 12 yeah. weeks once you contact you and say, this is kind of what I'm looking for. And I, do you guys, par- yeah. are you part of that, you know, as far as I'm helping, like, this is my square footage, this is what I have available, and kind of yes. helping them determine yeah. what's and, a good and fit? Really, yeah, and aside from the quality of our container, what also really sets us apart is our, you know, customer service. We're able to help with, you know, site plans and layouts of their property Um, you know, configuring unit mixes and, you know, ROIs for their property. So that's something that we really like to get into and help these customers, you know, figure out what works best for them, you know, working with their timeline, working with their finances, you know, how can we make this work? So what's cool about, you know, these containers is that for self-storage, again, you can do all sorts of different, uh, you know, unit sizes within a 20-foot container, and that's really, you know, your biggest bang for your buck. And we can, you know, do um, swing doors. We can do roll-up doors. We can color match to their existing facility so it looks like a seamless fit, you know, if they have an existing facility or just even keeping with their brand, you know, their branding. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's, so there's a lot of different huge. things that you can do. Yeah, and like I said, we can site plan, you know, do all sorts of, you know, different layouts you know, really take them from concept to a finished, complete product. Huh. Uh, that's that's fantastic because yeah. you definitely want to have it look congruent <laughs> with their existing yeah, facility. Yeah, you don't absolutely. Want, you don't right, to... right. And, yeah, and, and uh, you know, that's what's really cool about what we can do and having these different custom options. So, you know, for our standard containers, they come equipped with swing doors. You know, and some people just, you know, it, it's all just kind of preference, you know, what you're used to and what you want. Yeah. So a lot of people, if they have existing facilities, you know, existing units, outdoor units, they have, you know, Janus roll-up doors, you know, or, or different kind, you know, different brand of roll-up doors. And we can custom and match that. Oh, perfect. So it's just, yeah, yeah, I, it's I've, really cool. I've, I've gone to some with... sites and it looks like it's just a menagerie of... <laughs> I pick up this side and I have this kind of unit. Now I got this kind of door. It just looks so right, right. Like, <laughs> yeah, just a hot pod. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Exactly. I know, and some do it that way, and that's fine too. Hey, whatever works, you know, whatever's going to make you money. But at least we have the ability, you know, to do all these different options, which is really nice. Nice. So once once the, they order it and it, it arrives, mm-hmm. I would look at it and be like, I wouldn't know what the crap to do as far as how to put it together right do you, right do, yeah do you, do they so what's cool is that when they come ship so okay. you place let's say you place an order with us you know we've got all your customization set and um, they are made overseas you know at our manufacturer and then they're shipped directly to the customer so when you get them they're actually shipped flat packed and within a 40 foot uh, high cube or ocean container shipping container 
So depending on the size that you go with, let's say you go with a 20 foot container, you're going to get 12 of our containers shipped flat packed inside that 40 foot high cube. Hmm. So yeah, they're kind of folded, you know, on their side. And if you go to our website, boxwell.co, then there are pictures there and also videos of kind of the unloading and the build process. So you can get a lot of information there. It's always kind of hard to explain, you know, uh, verbally, and it always helps to have the pictures to kind of illustrate that. But essentially, when you get them, they're all, you know, folded, tucked inside a 40-foot high cube, and then you employ the services of a rollback truck company, and they will pull what we call those skids out of that 40-foot high cube and Again, just going back to if you order the 20-foot containers, you'll have 12 total in there. So there's two skids of six that are packed in there. So they'll pull each skid out and then unload it on the ground. And then you need a forklift to start breaking them down and putting them down on the ground so you can build them. So the forklift takes the roof off of the container, and then the walls are hinged. So it's really you know, almost all the way put together. Hmm. The walls, yeah, so you just need some strong guys to put up the walls. You put the corner, four corner guards on or four posts on each, you know, corner of the container. And it's like 24 nuts and bolts. And then you use the forklift to put the roof back on and then bolt that back in and you're done. I mean, it's, it's so simple. You know, again, going back to it's a box. So. Yeah, well, it is. But it's I was actually, hard, but I was, it's was, nice was, that the wall, you know, the walls are hinged and already attached to the container. So it's a very simple process. I mean, if anyone's ever worked a drill, you know, or used a wrench and a hammer, then you can do it. I mean, I've been out there building boxes, you know, for customers. So, but we do also offer a full install package. I mean, you've got those, you know, customers who are investors only. Yeah. You know, they're the number crunchers. They've never done anything like this. They don't want to. So, you know, it's just, we can do that for you. That's good. Yeah. That, 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 well. that'd, be, that'd be me. He, he's talking about a hammer and a wrench. <laughs> and I'm like, I, yeah, I'm out. No I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's not hard. It's an easy process, but um, yeah, it, it will take a little more time if you've never done anything like that. Yeah. I was I was watching when you were, when we were talking. I was watching the video on the website, so yeah, it definitely oh, helps nice. to see that. You can it all comes together with watching the video there. Well, I can definitely see how yeah. this works out because, like I said, I've had you know a number of clients where I've gone in and you know you're doing an audit or actually taking over management and. The first thing mm -hmm. I do is, well, okay, how can we maximize, you know, the space and the efficiency and increase revenue with the right <laughs> and this right because so many. I mean, it's it's crazy. The self storage industry. I mean, it's what up to a thirty eight billion dollar industry now, that just does not seem to be slowing down at all. And then with all the baby boomers, you know, I think I read a quote the other day that, like, ten thousand retiring a day for the next 15 years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're downsizing, get rid of stuff. And, you know, most millennials these days, they don't want to take that stuff. <laughs> they're into more minimalist, you know, and, and don't have that sentimental value. So yeah, yeah. maybe boomers are downsizing and storing it. And yeah, it's just, it, it's, it's wild. It's, it's growing and growing. So most places, I mean, that national average for self storage operators that they're at 90% rental capacity. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you start looking like, okay, where, you know, and in and, and a lot of big cities, you know, space is limited. You're not easily going to find, you know, uh, the land or the warehouse or the space just to pop up a new self-storage facility. So you're looking at your own property where, how can we maximize, just like you said, the space and add more rental units to it and make more, make more money. So that's really, I mean, the just going back to what I said about the for self storage, you know, containers just being a no brainer. It's just so simple and it's so easy to start making more money on your property. Well, hopefully, you know, people listen to this will uh, start get the wheels turning as far as what else yeah. they can do to, uh, you know, maximize their, their property and get some more money coming in. So, for those that want to yeah, get a hold absolutely. of you and kind of get walked through the process and have a little consultation, how do they reach out to you? Yeah, so I can be reached um, at Laura at, so that's L-A-U-R-A at Boxwell, B-O-X-W-E-L-L dot C-O. So we did not forget to leave the M off the end. That That is the 
my email address. Um, you can also go on our website, you know, boxwell.co, and inquire more information that way. I can also be reached um, my cell at any time, 404-435-1258. Yes, that is an Atlanta number, but I am here in Boulder, Colorado. But yeah, feel free uh, to reach out any time. We'd love to help you out and see where, you know, we can't uh, help you start generating more money. That's what it's all about. Well, perfect. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> right. well, yes. Well, thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. I look forward to, you know, talking to any of you out there that are looking to make more money. Perfect. All right. Thanks, Laura. Take care. Thanks. Have a great day. You too.